The battlefield has shifted. The Autobots and Decepticons are racing through space to face the greatest evil the Transformers have ever encountered. They have entered the Unicron Battles. Transformers. Galvatron, why do we have to fight? For just this once, can't you put aside your petty argument with Optimus? That's enough! How dare you question me, Starscream? But if we don't join forces with the Autobots, chances are good that both sides won't survive the wrath of Unicron. You're testing my patience! I'm just worried there won't be a second chance before Unicron destroys the universe as we know it. Enough about Unicron! I'm sick and tired of listening to your pathetic whining. And the day will soon come when Unicron is defeated. It will be too late! You simpleton, Optimus and I are sworn enemies! But Galvatron, sir, I don't think Optimus would make this offer unless he truly believed it. Let me give you fair warning, Starscream. Don't you dare cross me again! I would never! You've got to believe me! I beg of you, sir, listen. You and Optimus must put aside your differences right away, or there'll be nothing left to defend on either side. Don't you realize the gravity of this? <laughs> Would you give it a rest? Galvatron knows what he's doing! Yeah, unless, of course, you're ready to jump ship again, you useless traitor. Go ahead and laugh, but soon that pea brain of yours will be sorry. Oh, I think Optimus is the one that will be sorry as soon as I defeat him. And that goes for Unicron as well. You see, my dear Starscream, there can only be one supreme commander of the universe, and trust me, in due course I shall eliminate my competition. I can't believe you still think you can defeat Unicron all by your- I don't care what you believe. I will destroy Optimus first, and then I'll worry about Unicron. That's insanity! The only way we can survive is if our two armies join forces, Galvatron! Enough! <laughs> You can't do this, sir! But I must give you credit for seeing through Thrust and his attempt to subvert my plans. In that regard, I was quite impressed. However, I require one's full loyalty. Is any of this sinking in, Starscream? I understand, sir. Gentlemen, it appears we have a date with destiny. Follow my lead. Yes, yes sir! What's the matter, Starscream? Are you just gonna sit there and mope, or are you gonna join us and kick some Autobot? Oh, and you better hurry up and make up your mind or else you'll miss Galvatron's victory party. <laughs> Would someone explain what's going on? Get in the game, Fred. Optimus is meeting up with the Decepticons. I just don't get it. I mean, I understand what Optimus wants to do and all, but I don't trust that Galvatron one little bit. Well, guys, I guess we just have to trust Optimus. I understand your suspicion, but to defeat Unicron, we need everyone we can recruit, including Galvatron. There's no way he's gonna buy into your plan, Optimus. Well, that goof doesn't have a choice. But we'll give him one. I've got a lock, sir. Decepticon's approaching at 12 o'clock. Attention, men. It's time to head them off. But remember, this is not a battle. All we want to do is talk to Galvatron. I don't want any Decepticons harmed, so it's imperative that we fire only in defense. Red Alert, you stay and look after the ship. I wish I knew what to do. It's easy. The only thing you have to say is thank you. I believe in you, Starscream. I must protect the humans. I must. Just remember what Optimus said. We fire back only in defense, no matter what, man. Yeah, yeah, we know. But I gotta tell you, Hoist, it isn't gonna be easy. I hate those Decepticons. That goes for you too, Hoist. You don't have to worry about me, boys. Zip it, men. We've got company. Okay, nobody fire on Galvatron's ship. We just let him pass on through. Then I'll play decoy. You got that, guys? You bet, Hoist. You got for it, buddy. I got you covered. Have you spotted him yet, Demolisher? Dead ahead, sir! In the valley below! Then let's take her down. 
Wait a minute. It appears he's not alone. Spare me the details, Demolisher. All I'm interested in is Optimus. Uh, yes, sir. Let's go, Tidal Wave. Transform! <laughs> Men. And he's packing the Star Saber sword! Take cover! Ready or not, here we come, auto boobs! <laughs> well, I guess we just don't aim. Hey, let's keep them busy, okay? It's better to aim high than just doing nothing at Cut all. Cut the chatter, men, and focus on your targets. Remember, we don't want any casualties out there. Hey, look, it's Wheeljack! I thought he was on our side. So did I. But it looks like he had a change of heart, Carlos. I suppose once you become a Decepticon, you'll always be a Decepticon. He's an honorable soldier, and I'm sure he feels he must live up to the Decepticon oath. Let's just hope Optimus can convince Galvatron to join with us, otherwise he's our enemy. Oh man, I can't tell who's who anymore. No kidding! I suggest we forget about the Decepticons for the moment and concentrate on our side. You're right, Red Alert! We've gotta stand behind our troops! There you are, Prime! It's time to shut you down. So, you want to negotiate, do you? Okay, I'm game. Let's play it your way. Let the negotiations begin! What's wrong? You forget your ammo? Guess again, Galvatron. You fool! Jetfire! I hear you, sir, and I'm coming in. <laughs> Optimus, transform! Oh, Optimus, you and your fancy little gadgets. Uh, what the? Oh, no, you don't. You're not getting away this time. What's wrong? I thought you wanted to have a little chit chat, Prime. I do, but only when you calm down, Galvatron. You just want to get rid of Unicron. Yeah, right. Nice try, but it's not going to work. <laughs> I guess this is where it finally ends, Optimus Prime. Your lust for power sickens me. Don't you get it? You're the one that's about to get it. You misjudge me, Prime. I don't like games. There can only be one leader in this universe, and unfortunately, it's not going to be you. Now do the honorable thing, you miserable coward. Stand up and fight! <laughs> Excellent! It looks like we're back in business! Tidal wave! Attack! Attack! I see you're in need of a weapon, Prime! I didn't come here to fight! But if you attack, I'll defend myself. Huh. You're a fool to the end, Optimus. Optimus! Galvatron! Cannonball! Would you please just butt out of this tidal wave? Can't you see Optimus and I were right in the middle of our negotiations? Now go play somewhere else! Now that's what I call a bullseye! I'll take out the trash, Optimus! You take care of Galvatron! Jetfire! <laughs> well, I guess that leaves you and me. Just the way I imagined it. So let's cut to the chase and get this over with, shall we? You're mine! How long have we been adversaries, Optimus? It seems like since the beginning of time. And I suppose I do have a certain respect for you, but I digress. You might have fooled Starscream with your little truce ploy, but I'm nobody's fool. Now let's end the charade, shall we? It's not a charade! Enough! Scream didn't fall for anything. He just saw the truth. Don't feed me your lies. The Decepticons and Autobots are like oil and water. We could never join forces. You and I both know it's true. That leaves only one question to be answered. Who will be left to rule the universe? Don't be a fool. You're in no position to call me names. 
I grow tired of your mind games, and it's time to end this conversation. It's been a real pleasure knowing you, Optimus Prime. Sayonara! What's the matter? You're not so tough, are you? Wait, I've got it. You're waiting for the Minicons to save you. Well, you're out of luck, because they aren't coming this time. What? You're playing a very dangerous game, Starscream. I've made my choice, Galvatron. There's only one path to survive, Unicron, and that's to follow Optimus. Why, you... Stay out of this, Starscream. This is between Galvatron and me. Now just back away. I don't mean any disrespect, Optimus, but I'm not going anywhere. Huh? You understand you'll pay for this. No one defies my command and gets away with it. Sorry, I don't work for you anymore. I've made up my mind to bring this to an end. And once all is said and done, Unicron will be destroyed and the universe will be at peace. May I suggest that you have lost your mind? I'll destroy you. Come and get a taste of my blade, Galvatron. Anyone heard anything from Optimus yet? Nada. Am I nuts, or are they missing on purpose? The obvious answer, Cyclonus, is you're nuts! Knock it off, you two! It just might be an Autobot trap! Well, why don't we just have a little look-see? Transform! Time to get this party started! <laughs> oh, i never seen so much firepower before! And what happened to Optimus? Huh? Oh, man, it looks like his whole strategy has gone completely out the window. Don't worry. Hmm? Everything is going to be all right, you guys. I'll give you one last chance to save your neck, Starscream. My only chance is to see you unite with Optimus. I hope you know what you're doing, Starscream. <laughs> starting to change his form again. Huh? Look, Rad, the Minicons are headed towards Unicron. Oh, no! The horror! The horror! No, Highwire! I can't let you out there. It's too dangerous. Just hang in there, okay? We've got to give Optimus a little more time. And you've got to tell the other Minicons to stay put. I've often wondered what it would be like to battle against you, Galvatron. But your words are stronger than your fighting abilities! I'm very disappointed! You insolent fool! Oh no! An A for effort! But unfortunately, your misguided aspirations are about to end in failure, Starscream! This battle's far from over, Galvatron! Oh, right! I forgot who you are. A mere Decepticon soldier whose programming has gone haywire. I admire your moxie, but sadly I must inform you your brave attempt to overthrow me is about to end in failure. Unless, of course, you decide to turn and walk away right now. And maybe if I'm still in a good mood, I might spare your miserable life. This is my final offer, Starscream. All right, then. I believe you've made your final decision, haven't you? Well, now it's time to pay the consequences, soldier! Get down! What's happening?! Unbelievable! Oh, I'm impressed, Starscream, but not enough to be worried. So do the smart thing and back down while you still can! Uh. Hmm. Better hurry and decide, Starscream! <laughs> Time's up! Huh? <laughs> Your 
starting to annoy me. Starscream? It's the least I can do. Starscream, where in the universe did you get all this power? Right now that doesn't matter, does it, Gavachan? Tell me, why did you let me run you through like that, soldier? This has all been a complete waste of my time! I remember. A very long time ago, I swore an oath to you, Gavachon, and I could never break that oath. You had this planned all along, didn't you? I did, sir. But all of this could have been prevented if you only had given me some respect. Save your breath, Starscream. I tried to gain favor from you, but nothing was ever good enough. No matter how many battles I fought, you always found fault. Then I saw how Optimus treated his men, and I realized he was a leader of integrity. Unlike you. You were too weak to ever gain my respect. None of that matters now. <laughs> you must listen! Do as Optimus says and join forces with the Autobots, or else every last one of us is doomed! <laughs> Please, sir, do it for me. No, Starscream, don't! It's time to finish this once and for all! Activate Proton Cannon! You're all mine, Unicron! There, Alexis. Alexis, Alexis, wait. <sighs> Alexis, wait up. It's over, Swindle. But he fought like a brave soldier until the end. from you, but nothing was ever good enough. No matter how many battles I fought, you always found fault. Then I saw how Optimus treated his men, and I realized he was a leader of integrity. Unlike you. Now in place. Sideways. And the mighty Unicron shall inherit the Star Saber Sword. No! I'd love to stay in chat, but we have a universe to destroy. Not so fast, Sideways. <laughs> oh, what else can go wrong? This is a nightmare. Why? Why? Why did Starscream do that to himself? I'm 
wish I had the answers, Alexis. Starscream was gone, and right now it seemed his demise was in vain. Yet like all things in life, we would have to wait to find out the true reason why he did what he did. But for now, there are too many questions without any answers. <laughs>